Hi everyone, it's Gail, and we are going to work on this stamp journal a little bit today. I have some stuff to show you as well, so we'll kind of do a few things today. So let's say hi and hugs. Let's let's just jump in. So hi and hugs to Robin, Jamie, Sally, and Connie. Thank you so much for for watching and for your kind comments. Okay, I had a request to do this uh, journal on camera. So we're going to work a bit on it today. Uh, but let me show you first. <laughs> I went to the little antique store beside that's close to my house because I wanted some TV trays and they were gone. Darn it. I should have went when I first thought of it. But oh well. They had this book. <laughs> I just love it and I think it needs to be um, it definitely needs to be a journal but look at this for Hallie from Aunt Clara Christmas 1908 isn't that so cute look at the fun little um, picture there yeah it's it's pretty loose so um, yeah, but anyway, didn't need it, but saw it and couldn't pass it up. And then I saw this. I love doing these in the summer, in the springtime. They make, they just make me so happy. So, and this was a really good price, better than I've ever gotten before. So those are my two buys at the antique store. But look what she gave me. That She said she just did an estate sale of a lady who was an Avon representative. <laughs> and so I'm standing there at the counter, folding the sack, going, oh, that would be such a cute journal. You could do this and you could do that. And, and you could leave it so that the, you know, it's kind of like not on the, on the front, but maybe do sort of like an envelope sort of thing. I don't know, but I'm gonna, See, that's why I don't get things done. <laughs> New stuff comes into my world and I'm like, ooh, let's play with that. <laughs> so there you go. That was my little, my little antique store stop. But I didn't get my, didn't get my TV trays. So I'm going to just keep my eyes peeled for some TV trays because I think that would be handy right next to me, you know, to lay things on and stuff. Okay, so let's talk about this because um, obviously I'm not doing the whole thing on video because this uh, cover is already done. But um, this was 12 by 12 paper. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, see these, these were cut off of the 12 by 12 paper and it was just scrapbooking paper. And um, what I did is I just kind of collaged the stamps on in a way that was pleasing to my eye. And then I, um, and then I sewed it. Well, maybe I, I might have Mod Podged it first. I think I did. Mod Podged it so it's, it's tougher, you know. And then I sewed it on to just a piece of... Um, coffee dyed muslin and then I did I sew those on I guess I did yeah and then I um put these ruffles on the edges it's hanging out a little bit it's kind of rustic and fun so that's how the cover came to be and then um oh let's see do I have yes Oh, she didn't write her name on it. Printed junk journal kit, postal themed collage papers. But she doesn't have her shop name. I'll have to find it. I'll try and put it below if I can if I can find it. I don't know. Anyway, it was a postal digital kit. And um, she sent it to me for an Etsy share, and so it was white on both sides. So I just took two pages, 
sewed them together around and um, and did that for all the pages. And then I grabbed some things from my from my stash that I thought would be fun. Um, this is rice paper. This is just some um, gold paint on coffee dyed. Uh, another little ruffle. Another one of the digitals. This was a page of a pocket that I did a while back. The digital, another bit of rice paper. This was a page that I did a while back with a couple of um, a couple of belly bands. I'm kind of thinking about putting a couple stamps on those. And then this was just I stamped I stamped on some coffee dyed paper a little bit. Um, some kind of handmade papers, rice paper again, and um, some real crunchy paper in the middle. So there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and sew that in. Next, next up is sewing it in. So let's do that. Hope you're having a good day. I am... Um, a little bit late filming. I haven't filmed all day because I had a lunch with the YWCA folks. So, um, so yeah. It was fun. So, this is kind of fun. A fun story. I think it's fun. So, my youngest daughter... When she was, oh, let's see, really just about, um, she was college age, she worked at a local bank. And she had this friend, his name was Lee, and they had a great time working together, just really enjoyed each other, made each other laugh, just, just had a lot of fun together. Well, I guess... Um, a while back, Mary told me this a couple weeks ago when she called. A couple, um, a, a little before that, uh, apparently Lee and his wife were listening to music and the song All the Single Ladies by Beyonce, you know, came on. And they were giggling because apparently there was a part, uh, like a Christmas party or a retirement party or something, at the bank and um lee and mary and gosh maybe his wife too i don't know <laughs> were um were dancing to all the single ladies and uh just ha you know just having a ball and all of that anyway this song came on they were sitting at the table with their two daughters and this song came on and they were kind of reminiscing and and so uh, Lee decided to get on social media and see if he could contact Mary. So he went on Facebook, and she's not on Facebook. <laughs> he went on Instagram. She's not on there either. And so he's like, oh, shoot. Well, she's, she's not on social media, so I can't, you know, I can't find her. Well, literally the next day... Mary was on LinkedIn because she does a lot of work on there for her recruiting job that she does. And his his uh, profile came up because he'd been, I think he'd gotten a promotion or something at the bank. And um, Crafty Cat USA Etsy. That's where I get that. Um, and so anyway, she saw that he'd gotten this promotion so she messaged him and said you know congratulations and all of that and 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 he was like oh my gosh Mary I you know I, his wife and he were just talking about her and and he said I tried to find you on social media but I see you're not on there and she said no I'm I'm not just LinkedIn for work and um and he said, well, how crazy is it that I was just looking for you yesterday? And so she's like, she's like, yeah, that, that is pretty crazy. And so anyway, she, a couple weeks ago, she's telling me this story. 
and she said, Mom, if you should ever see Lee around town, would you just give him a big hug for me? And and I, I said, well, Mary, I rarely leave my house, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing my doing my thing here and so I we were just laughing about yeah mom doesn't get out much and so anyway all that to say today at lunch who should be at one table over from me but her friend Lee and I could barely concentrate on the why WCA stuff we were talking about because I was so excited he was over there and I'm like I'm sorry you guys I'm distracted because that's a friend of my daughter's over there and I told him the story you know and um I said I've got to I've got to say hello before we leave so um so anyway I went over and I said I'm thinking he's not going to remember me from Adam I said um I said, Lee, it's Gail Augustinelli, Mary's mom. And he goes, oh, my gosh. And so I told him, I said, I said, Mary told me a couple of weeks ago that you two had connected on LinkedIn. And she said, if I ever saw you, I needed to give you a big hug. And I, <laughs> I said, I can't believe you're sitting right here. And he's then, you know, he was telling me his, you know, the story about the day after he's looking for Mary, she contacts him. I said, I don't know. You guys were <laughs> meant to run back into each other, I think. And um, and he said, oh, wait, wait, wait. So he took a selfie of us and he was he was texting it to Mary. So they must have traded phone numbers when they finally got a hold of each other. Oh, I just thought that was so crazy. How many coincidences in a row is that? Mm. So anyway, I have done my duty. I have given him a hug. Oh my gosh, so funny. Okay, now we're to decorating and... um. Let's see. Let's let's organize this a little bit. I've got I've got um, ephemera that's real fun that uh, came with the kit too. I'm I'm sorry. I should have looked up the the name. I can't believe I didn't do that. Okay. So this is gonna go in a pocket. These will go in a pocket. These will go in a pocket. This will. This will. All these are pocket things. All these go on a page. So I like to put my printed, my stuff that goes in the pockets, and then just kind of work on the pockets themselves. So these over here I got in my um, to-do box, and they are not, not quite finished, the, this pile. But these, but these are, look at that cute. Oh, that's the other thing I have to do is I have to grab some of Kathy Holden's fabric and make a fabric flip. And we might just make a, a belly band too. Okay, that's for another day though, because I didn't do it before I started the video. <laughs> but there's some fun little stamp things. This needs more decoration too. Okay. So these pockets are going to go in the front because we'll use those first. And then all this stuff we need to play with a little bit and see if we can't get it decorated. <sighs> I feel like I'm like, blah, blah, blah. It, was, it was a fun, it was a fun lunch and everything. I had a good time. Okay, so we need something for in there. Need something there. And I don't know, um, this was old scrapbooking paper that was from the um, the craft store here in town that, that closed. So I don't even know what kind it is or anything. But but this guy, he's almost, he's almost ready. He's just got maybe a little something there. So let me show you in the kit. These are really cute. I don't know if there's one the right size, but we'll give it... Give it a whirl. Look at these, how they're just kind of torn and fun. 
Aren't those cool? That one could fit right there, I think. Do I like that one or do I like this one? I think I like this one. So yeah, my TV trays were gone, doggone it. I should have gotten them when I first thought of it, but oh well. I know the lady that owns it because her, her and her mom had a booth at the antique mall where I was. They still do. Um, and then they opened their own store because they do estate sales. You know, they organize them and run them and everything. So... I feel like maybe, maybe a little piece of the faux washi and perhaps a word or something. Ugh. Okay, what do we have here? I'm I'm kind of thinking I want the yeah the us the usual the the normal. Okay, I'm just gonna go right about there. Waste not, want not. Oh, I'll have to make some more. Darn it. So much fun. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. Well, that's going right there. I was going to have it down a little lower than that, but that's where it wanted to be. Okay, and then I need a glue book. I need a glue book. Yeah, so I had a salad for lunch, and it was super good. Had cranberries and pumpkin seeds and stuff, but I'm still hungry. <laughs> I'm going to make this video, and then I'm going to go have a snack. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was really good. So there we go there. Isn't that cute? And I feel like my... Pink Monarch Prince words are a good color because they'll kind of kind of go with that a little bit. But I don't know if I have anything short enough. Just you wait. Just you wait on the mail. Heaven knows when it's international, we're certainly waiting. So alive now. Little things. Just looking at the ones that are small enough. Okay, I'm just going to say just you wait. Yeah, I've seen some things on Etsy that I would like to order, but they're overseas and it's just like, you know, the one order that I did from Roxy Creations got lost. Rachel, bless her heart. Um replaced it but you know I don't want to mess with that stuff and you might be saying to yourself she really doesn't need anything which is right but I bought those two books anyway <laughs> okay what do you think about these oh it's got two. It's got two pockets. How fun is that? I feel like that needs something else. Now, in this journal, I'm thinking I can do, like, receipts and ledgers and things like that, too. Um, and, like, old letters. Oh, I wanted to grab that. Well, it's way over there. Can I reach it? Um, let's see. Yes, I can. So I have this little basket full of old letters and stuff um, that I think will be fun. But, you know, like 1894? Really? 1894. Well, that's a treasure. That'd be fun in this, wouldn't it? 
Oh yeah, and this one's closed, so it kind of has to go in as is. But that would be fun, like under the under here. But I need to decorate that because it's upside down. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the in this ephemera basket because I think what better journal to have that in. Okay, well, I'm just kind of thinking, does Tim Holtz have anything kind of stampish? Let's grab his stuff for a second. Oh. All I really have is like this one that might might have something kind of fun to use. That's fun. All of these are fun, aren't they? These would be cool to play with in there. Okay. We're going to make something that I saw Julie on Camellia Crafts do. And let's see how, how that works. Okay, is this six? Yes. Okay, let me move some stuff. Okay, all my stuff to decorate. All my stuff to decorate and I'm making something else. <laughs> yeah, you know, this is, the, this is the creative process part. This is the fun part. I'm going to move the book onto the other side so I can move my washies and not dump them on the floor today. Okay, let's do this thing. So, I, if I remember how she did it, so I'm going to make this six by six. I did want to try it anyways, so. Okay, so that's six by six, so I am gonna, don't particularly need that one, but maybe I will need it. Okay, I'm just gonna fold it in half, and bone folder it. Okay, and then, Oh, excuse me. She made it into like a little ticket by snipping the corners. Sorry, it doesn't really want to go through the two thicknesses of Tim Holtz. So yeah, I'm making my video quick and then Mike and I get to watch our girls play basketball. They're in a different town, so we won't we didn't go, but we'll watch it on TV. That'll be fun. And this way my daughter and her husband didn't have to stop here on their way there. I'll try and remember well, I'll try try and figure out the Etsy store where I got the stamp. Um, digital and then I'll I'll link this video of Julie's too because I thought it was a super cute idea okay so there is that isn't that cute now um, we need a little we need a little pocket which I'm kind of thinking this would be fun for the pocket and that would be fun too. Maybe we'll do both. Maybe we'll do two pockets. So I'm gonna take off of this. And here. Don't wanna cut 
cut the wording. Ooh, I did it, I think. Doesn't look straight though. Oh well, maybe the writing's not straight on here. Okay, and then I think I want to go like right about, let's go just over that. They're working away on my deck again, guys. It's happening. Believe it or not, it's happening. Okay, um, and then these need to be three. I'm gonna cut just some of that. And where's three? Right there. Okay. Do it here. At least it gets the, doesn't get the and company, but it gets the rest. Okay, so that's going to be one pocket. And this one, let's just go like this and cut it at three. You guys, you're not going to believe this. You will, because half of you do it too. I woke up at 2.30. I went to sleep at 11 because I was doing comments and stuff. Went to sleep at 11. I woke up at 2.30 and I've been awake ever since. <laughs> it's like, oh, goodness. I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> oh, I forgot my water and I have the hiccups. This is not good. I'll try not to hiccup out loud. But I'm on a roll. I can't stop now. Let's see. So I'm going to put that down there and that up there. Cool. Okay. Let's do some inking before ink before glue. There's another sweatshirt phrase ink before glue. Yeah, so um, the one gal, the executive director, she had, the other gal and I had salad, but she had salad and their soup of the day was butter squash. Oh, so good. I wanted some, but then I decided I'll just eat my salad like a good girl. Now I'm wishing I had the soup. Maybe I'd still be <laughs> okay so that's there oh we'll have to um i'll have to re-ink when i glue that on okay so you are there you are there i'm gonna go right under there okay and I'm not going to glue the bottom. I'm just going to glue the two sides because then whatever I put in can go kind of all the way down, if that makes sense. There we go. There's that. Be doing that on here. And then this little pocket. And I'm not going to do the corners because we're going to round those. Yeah, I am starting to get a little snoozy, so I'm going to have to, I don't know, get myself going so that I can be watching my girls. Okay. That sounds like Mike has, did I tell you this? Mike has been watching Wednesday. He watches an episode in the afternoon because <laughs> the whole time we were watching it, he kept falling asleep. <laughs> I'm like, you haven't seen any of it. And he's like, I know. Okay, so now we need something for in there and in the pockets, but um, I think I would like something different than this stuff. If there's something that kind of says, 
Ow. Gosh. Paper cut. Okay, first of all, this stuff. Going in the garbage. Hopefully that will be enough to hold my... That's cool. Ooh, that's cool. That would be fun if it would fit is this column. What's back like? Ooh, I'd have to put some coffee dyed paper on it, wouldn't I? Okay. Well, let's play with that a little bit. Let's see, I need my other cutter. So then this tag that's going to go in there is also going to be cut in a tag shape. Or ticket, I mean, excuse me. That's kind of fun, that little strip of numbers. Okay. All right, so... How tall do we want that? See, that one's gonna, this one's gonna go in here, hopefully. Yep. It goes to about there. Okay, so we'll cut it on that line. And then we have another little one that can be something else. Okay, I think I'll put that on some coffee dyed paper first. I'm thinking I should have some over here. That won't work. Those. Let's see. Well, that is old paper paper. Let's use this. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited to have a start on this because um, because of the theme, I think I'll be making quite a bit of the ephemera rather than, um, I mean, some's made, but not, not nearly enough. So, gosh, I can't remember who asked me to do this on on camera, but I hope it's, I hope it'll be what you were looking for. Okay, Where's my scraper. Oh, it's a reach. Okay. Yeah, so that was so nice of my antique store lady to give me those Avon bags, wasn't it? <laughs> it's was like, oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, so. So, if you're watching, hi, Cindy and hi, Sharon. Sharon bought some of my um, my shelving units when I left the antique mall. Um, I had this really cool one that was an old door. The back of it was an old door, and it was a bookshelf. She bought that one. And then I think I might have told you the last time I was there, one of the pictures that she had was from my store, but my mom had bought it. I had like three of them, and she's just got the one left. I said, so somebody bought it from my mom's estate sale or something, and then and then they died. <laughs> you, got, you got it back. Oh, so funny. Okay. Clippy. we got to clippy this. That's happier with just that thickness. So once again, into a ticket. Julie had a nifty little uh, crocodile type punch um, 
chomper that makes that little circle. But, you know, use what you have. And I have a circle punch is all. Okay, that's pretty cool. On a day when I have more wherewithal, I don't know, I might do something on that. Oh, I want to do the back too. Um, you could decorate that a little more. But if we get the base made today, that's good. Wouldn't it be fun if Tim Holtz had a little post office person, a little postal, postal guy. Okay, that looks cute sticking out of there, so I think I'll leave that. Okay, this one. Yeah, yeah, so it was funny as I was leaving there, oh, several of the other vendors were buying my stuff. Which was great because then I didn't have to move it, especially the big furniture. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of work having a booth in an antique mall. Because, you know, something sells and you've got to fill that space and stuff. So I had a, my back stock was in my garage and um, my mom was living with us at the time and she wasn't loving that. So I ended up leaving the antique mall because she didn't like my back stock but you know what one door closes and another door opens who knows if i'd be doing this had had all that not happened okay so that i'm thinking hopefully can go in there that can go in there and then how about we put some tickets and or stamps in this one. I really kind of like the, um, uh, neutralness of this. How about when it these. This will give a pop of color. And what else we got? Oh, I have this box that has more vintage stamps in it. Gold. BWW. I'm going to put those two in there. Oh, goodness, guys, I'm starting to fade. Starting to get snoozy. What time is it? Oh, we've got a few minutes yet. I need some caffeine or something. I don't hear the guys working out there anymore. I wonder if they knocked off for the day. Okay, that's cute. Can't tear that off. Okay, so then we can maybe put, do I have a big stamp that would go across there? I've got that dude. I don't totally mind that though because of the green and the green writing. We'll see if there's something we like better, but I think I might go with that. Let's see, I've got this one, but it's blue and I don't like that as much. I think I'm just gonna go with that guy. Don't know what else I'd put him on. I need to keep this at the ready, don't I? This will be using stamps a lot. I think I'll give that a little something around the edge. I meant to grab a new doohickey. Doohickey being sponge. And I forgot. 
Okay, because I think I need to probably re-ink my pad and get a new pad. I'll have to remember to do that. Maybe tomorrow. Okay. I have something tomorrow. Oh, I get my hair cut tomorrow. That'll be fun. Okay. I think I like it just plain. So, that is cute. That's going to look cute in there. Okay. So, that is going to be a pocket on a page. Okay. Let's look at this. Because now that we have our stamps out, I think we need to put book page down that or something. Let's um, see what this old book. This is 1909. Not quite as old as the other one. I want like a full page. Yes. Alrighty then. Oh man. Struggling people. So how many hours? It's so it's almost 12 hours. I mean it's over 12 hours by about 10 20 minutes or 15 20 minutes. 10 hours since I've been asleep. <laughs> oh, I bet you I just completely conk out tonight though. That's usually how it goes. These are going to be great to stamp on. We need to have a day like that. I'm so sorry. I have the hiccups, you guys. I can't hold my breath because I can't talk when <laughs> holding my breath. No fingernails. Still no fingernails. Okay. There we go there, and I am going to see if I just kind of put that like that, and I'm going to rip off a bit of it. Put that in my, in my scraps. Okay, I'm just going to use this, maybe. So it doesn't do any curling on me, theoretically. Yeah, I'm in, I hope uh, the girls' games are exciting. <laughs> they could lose me today. It's a good thing we didn't say we were going to go. My um, daughter and son-in-law, they have to drive through our town to get to the town where the girls are playing, but... I was just like, well, I had that lunch for one thing, but I also, I'm just glad because since I didn't sleep last night, that wouldn't, I would have struggled, I think. Okay. So there's that. I feel like this needs a big Tim Holtz person. And I'm feeling masculine. I'm feeling like some gentleman that he's got his gloves there. Let's see. Ooh, there's a dapper, dapper young man. He's sitting though. I'd kind of like one standing so he takes up more of the um, length of that. I always feel like I have all men left and I can't find any men. Are all my guys sitting? They pretty much all are. This guy's standing up. He looks like the Postmaster General. Let's use him. Oops. Yeah. He's the Postmaster General from about, oh, I don't know, 1933. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, and then, and then what? I'm feeling like I want my, some Timmy stuff. Let me grab my Timmy stuff. This may be, ooh, here's something with the stamp. just fell. <laughs> Did you hear that? Something just fell. Okay. Well, that's fine, but we need, we need some other stuff on there. it's sticking out over the edge but we can't do that there okay I'm just playing to find something that I like here okay um This actually reminds me of postage because I have to measure, I have to measure every package that I send out on Etsy. <laughs> okay, we're getting there. Books are cool too. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna put a real stamp right there, I think. Okay. I'm gonna call that good for the stacking up of stuff. And then we'll see where we can use a stamp. Yeah, I probably want some ink on a few of these. Okay. Yeah, the gal that owns the... Um, antique store she said we have a estate sale this Saturday she told me where it was and I'm thinking oh I don't need to go to that but do I want to yes all right so let's see I had that over top, didn't I? And I had that right about like that. Okay, provided for. I'm using the text to tell me where I want to put this. <laughs> Boy, the art glitter glue's sure working great since I filled it. It's like, don't know why I waited so long. Okay, there's that. I think this. I thought about when I couldn't sleep last night, I thought about coming down here and doing something, but it's like, well, I'm not sleeping, but at least I'm resting. I mean, at least I'm prone. <laughs> 
laying down anyway. Oh. I think I need a little strip, a little tiny strip of this right there. What a fun day just playing with this. I want that there. Okay. Oh, then you. Let's see, then you are going to go. You are going to go here. You are going to go right about there. So a little right under the four inches. That's one nice thing about using a ruler on your piece. That's a good measurement. <laughs> so, okay, that. So much fun. Thank you for being here. I'm so grateful to be able to to just play and have you guys keeping me company and chatting with me on the comments and everything. So fun. Okay. Pat, pat, little postage man. Okay, so that is going to go there and this is going to go here. I'm going to put a real stamp on that. I'm a real boy. I'm a real postmaster general. <laughs> I'll put that like, like kind of like that. Okay, and this. guess that doesn't have an up and down. I think it might go like that, though. Okay. Now, let's find a couple of real stamps to play with on here, too. Um... Kind of shiny with the light hitting it, isn't it? I definitely, definitely, definitely want a red one, I think. So I might put that one there and then maybe a blue. So there's lots of lots of blue right there. Okay, I'm liking that. But then, oops, this foot's coming up. Doesn't want to stick on the washi. Um and then something, something, something down here. Look at this gold one. Mm hmm. And any orangish ones? Yes. Yes, yes I do. I want this dark one. Let's do that. Okay. Glue pages. Well, stamp.
stamps are certainly fun to play with. And a, a fun theme is what I'm trying to get at. Fun theme. So, and if you are looking for stamps, um, just um, search it on Etsy because there's lots of sellers. Okay, I'm going to call you, Mr. Postmaster General, done. So, oh, that's cute. I like that. I like this guy. Okay, we need a big, tall pocket to go in there. I'm almost thinking about this guy. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And look, this one is a tuck so I could almost slide it up a little and tuck it in there that is done look at that okay how are we doing I think I'm gonna call it a video because I'm about to fall asleep <laughs> and and we're basically done okay so we got that done Oh, we basically got that done and that done. And we decorated this a little bit. It needs more, though, I feel like, on the tags especially. So, cool. Well, thanks so much for being with me while we while we got started. Um, this is going to be a start to finish. I mean, I, didn't, I did the cover already and the sewing on the signatures, you know, sewing the pages together. But I didn't want to do that on camera anyway. It would have taken too long. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you have a grateful day, and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye.